Hello everyone, Christina here. Welcome to the mail call video for October, which seems crazy because this is this video is going up extremely late. Um, hopefully in the next little bit, I'll be able to tell you exactly why. Um, just know that it was because I was very busy <laughs> and I think it actually worked out well in some cases because I went and picked up my mail at the end of last week and there were a few little stragglers for October that, that arrived late. So hopefully all of the October cards are here and you can see everything all at once. Now, mail call for anyone who's brand new and just tuning in is uh, when I give all of you a theme for the month and you make cards based on that theme and then mail them to me and I share with you all of the cards that I've received in a video. So this is the video for October 2020. The theme for October was circles, and it could be circle cards, could be elements that are circles on cards, anything with circles. So at first, for the first part of this video, I'm going to be walking you through some of the cards that really stood out to me, maybe techniques I thought were really neat. And then I will be showing you everything that I received for the month. And let's get into it. This first card is by Kathy in North Carolina. And look at this cool background that she created. Let me zoom in for you. Um, I think she noted on the back, alcohol, ink, and foil. So she added little bits of foil. But I love that she created like a dot pattern using the alcohol ink. Um, oh gosh, what is that solution called? It's the blending solution. She just dropped little dots onto her pattern and it kind of eats away the color and it creates a cool dot. I just think it looks fantastic. So this is from Kathy in North Carolina. Here's another really cool technique. This one is from Melanie in Texas. And I believe on the back here, she uh, mentioned that she first put Versamark ink on an embossing folder, ran it through her die cutting machine, and then applied embossing powder. So um, this, these white areas are where she's applied the embossing powder and melted it. So then because that resists color, then she, when she started dropping on these cut these inks, she says she used, um, she just used watercolor. She didn't use ink. She says, uh, then I pounced the paper in watercolor to develop the background. Uh, lastly, I sprinkled water on the paper and picked up the droplets with a paper towel. Such a cool thing. And I love that she didn't really include a greeting on this at all. So this could go either orientation and it could go for any occasion. I think it's kind of great. She's got the same embossing folder on the flap of the envelope. So thank you, Melanie. This is a fun card from Donna in New Jersey. And this is really cool. has one of those little circle element things from Lawn Fawn. She uses an embossing folder to make it look like a golf ball. Can you guys see that? So funny. You open it up and it says time to party. So funny. This fun monster card is from Ginger in Oregon. And she's created a little monster face using circle die cuts, a bunch of circle die cuts, plus some little wonky squares for her teeth. I thought that was just so fun and playful. This is a fun interactive card from Raylene in Idaho. And um, when you see the card like this, you're like, oh, that's fun, all those dimensional flowers. But um, I think she noted on here, pull top of flowers. I was like, what? But then when you pull the top of the flowers, it has a little separate tag. I thought that was so uh, fun and just cool how they nestle right in there with the other flowers. Such a fun, creative idea. Okay, this card is super cool. It's from Mary in Washington. And she notes on the back that it's Copic markers and clear glaze pen. So I think what she's done is she dabbed the marker on. Let me get this closer. She's dabbed little tiny dots and then gone over the top with a clear glaze pen. So, um, my gosh, it's kind of crazy. She said the card design is inspired by abstract landscape print by EMC Design Lab. Such a cool card design. This slimline card is really fun. Let me pull it out. I love the use of color. This is by Lana in California. And I thought it was really just kind of cool how all of the butterfly areas inside the circles are gold and then outside the circles it has color. I think it's just a really fun way to color this really long card. And I, I think she has sent cards in the past I like that she included a little wax seal and a ribbon right here. 
And then you can close up the envelope by peeling the release paper off there. Just a nice little touch of detail. These two cards are by Karen G in Washington. And I thought they were just super fun. You can see how she's used the backgrounds in different ways. So here's probably what she ink blended first, cut out the big circle, and then she used that circle on the second card. She's even got like some flocking over here on the side. Just a great way to utilize all of your blended background when you make one. I thought that was really, really cool. This next card is by Charlotte in Dallas, Texas. And she notes that she used no stamps. All of painting uh, was done with gouache. And she stenciled on some Ranger embossing paste and she used some watercolor paper. I thought this was just really cool. I love the monochromatic, you know, just red and white with this black. Looks really, really cool. And she's got some die cut letters up here at the top. All right, this card is from Sandy in Tennessee. And look how fun this is. It's got a fun opening. But also, I think what she's done is she's taken mini round blending tools and created large dots with ink. I thought that was such a fun way to create a patterned background and um, just super creative to make a dot. Okay, this circle card, circle shaker card, comes from Ruby in Taiwan. And I thought this was just so cute. Has all those little sequins inside, moving around. And um, looks like she's used the same circle die, or the circle frame die that she's used for the front. She's used it for cutting her foam. It's a nice, clean edge. Uh, just the attention to detail and craftsmanship on this is impeccable. That's why I wanted to show you guys. It's such clean edges. Everything looks good. And then it opens up to the inside. It's a beautiful card. Okay, I'm not sure if these are both by the same person or not. Um, one says Karen B from Minnesota and one says Karen from Minnesota. I'm not entirely sure, but I really love the idea of having circles for each one of the letters. I thought that was really, really fun. In fact, there are a few cards you'll, you'll see here at the end too that use the same idea of having you know, circles with letters inside each circle. Such a fun idea. And I thought it was funny that both of these were by Karen in Minnesota, but I don't, you know what? The letters are drawn a little bit differently. The handwriting's a little bit different. I think they are different people. So fun. Oh, just kidding. This, this verifies it. Same person, same stamp on the back. I'm glad I solved my own mystery. <laughs> All right, this is by, well, I don't think it's actually an under 18 year old because they didn't say their age, but this is by Char in Kentucky. And I thought this was really fun because they've taken an oval window cut out and then they have the greeting on the inside just centered right there within that shape. I thought it was a great way to use kind of like a circle or oval window. This last card I wanna show you is by Susan in Chicago, Illinois. And this is really fun. Look at this background. It's actually, it uh, looks like blended or um, distress oxide background and then cut with a die cut. And then she's moved where all the circles are. Um, she's like moves them around so they're, the color is a little bit different. Look how cool that is. Just a really fun way to do a texturized background. Love that. Oh, and there are dots on the inside too. So fun. So now I'm going to be showing you the rest of the cards that I received for October 2020. There are so many amazing cards. I think you guys are going to love it. And let's get into it.
Thanks for watching today's mail call video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of those cards with circles. I know I enjoyed seeing all of them. If you would like to participate in the November mail call or December mail call, the November theme is Christmas and holiday and the December theme is thank you. Um, all the info is below down in the video description. You can still mail those in for those videos. Thanks so much for watching today. Um, on screen, I'll have my three most recent videos. Uh, we're taking a little bit of a break from the holiday card series with this video, but if you want to jump right back into those holiday cards, I'll have those on screen for you to check out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow for day 14 of the holiday card series.